Hello and welcome to episode 31 of Battlefield 4 News and this is the promised test of Mantle. So there was an update to Mantle on the 13th of February which supposedly fixed some of the spiking issues and the frame rate drops. So I've loaded up Mantle and Catalyst 14.1 You'll be able to see from the top left hand corner of the gameplay I'm running an i7 with a single HD7970 graphics card and for this example I put all the graphics settings onto high and we'll see how it goes. So bottom left hand corner you can see the frame rate and frame time graph and the thing to watch is the yellow line that is what we were struggling with last time it would peak massively and the frame rate would drop and if you didn't watch the last video frame time is how long it takes to draw each individual frame so rather than recording frame rate which is a general rate over time frame time shows what is going on at that moment and as you can see mantle is performing pretty well at the moment I'm getting between 100 and 130 frames per second but we're about to come across our first frame time spike and there it is now I'm getting a bit better with video editing so we can have a closer look at what happens as you can see the game's running pretty smoothly there's a minor little spike before it and then there's a massive spike and the frame rate halves from 120 to 60 and then goes straight back up again so that isn't as bad as some of the spikes we were getting in the original test of Mantle where it would drop to 20, but the spike is still there. Now Mantle is installed pretty simply, you don't have to do anything in the game other than turn Mantle on. Uh, to get Mantle running with the drivers you have to uninstall 13.12 restart your system, install 14.1, restart your system. Now you can't change to Mantle live mid-game because it just doesn't switch over. You have to swap over to Mantle, exit the game and then come back in and then it will be running Mantle. So the testing's pretty simple. I've not put all the fancy graphs on this time because I wanted to see if the problems were still there. and it would appear that they still are. Now it doesn't affect the majority of gameplay. The spikes seem to come out of nowhere and can happen at any time. Uh, it does still affect FRAP, so this is being recorded using XSplit, which is why it's only in 720p. But I can't work out what causes Mantle to spike. I've tried various things in game, I've even stood still for an entire round to see if it would spike and it didn't. It does spike on the test zone so it's not having other players around, it's obviously processing something but I can't find what it is. I've tried tracking it down and I can't. It just happens randomly as you're playing. And that's the reason I've kept this clip running, to show you that Mantle performs fine quite a lot of the time but in about another 20 or 15 seconds, I don't know I've lost count, we're going to have another major spike and this time it's a big one. In fact it's worse than that, it's several big ones all coming along at once and again no idea what causes it but I try to find this guy on the roof, he shoots at me and you can see them. One, two, three, four, five. And if we look at the map closer, you can see first one's quite small, then one that goes off the chart, then a couple of little ones, then another small one, and then two more that go off the chart. And again, there's no reason why they should suddenly happen. Now, this is slightly weird as well, and I've chosen this part of the round because you can see the frame rate's running around about 190 until I look down the scope and it suddenly drops to 70. And I don't know why, because it didn't do that at the start of the round. And it seems like the mantle gets worse the longer the round's going. If you look at the trace in the bottom left, 
you can see a series of small spikes. Here again, I look down the scope and the frame rate drops from 100 to 70 and then goes straight back up again, but doesn't drop when I look through the straw. So yeah, that's interesting. Why doesn't the straw affect it? Now, what's even worse is the sniper rifle. The frame rate in the top right hand corner drops from 90 to 40 when I zoom in. And if we look at that close up, you can see on the trace exactly when I zoom in. You can see it goes up, plateaus while I'm zoomed in, drops back down, goes back up while I'm zoomed in. And you just can't play as a sniper when your frame rate is suddenly diving every time you zoom in with a scope. So after that there doesn't seem much point concentrating on the gameplay anymore because Mantle isn't fixed. And to emphasise that, let's have a look and see what happens at the end of the round. Oh, nothing's happening, nothing's working, and Battlefield has stopped working. So once again I have to say Mantle is nice in theory, but lousy in practice. And on that note, it's the end of this episode of Battlefield 4 News. Thanks for watching.